investigating the microscope with the letter E. So what I'm gonna do is I need directions on how to do this activity. I need a prepared slide with a letter E, wet mounted, and I'm gonna also need my paperwork. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take my slide with a letter E. Of course, before I begin using my microscope, I need to make sure that I am on low power, and by using the course adjuster, I'm making sure that the stage is completely lowered. I'm gonna turn on my light, and I'm gonna place my slide onto the stage, making sure that my letter E is directly into the light source. And if you see, you can see how my letter E is correct. It's like if I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it as if I would see it normally. And it's right in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stage clips on right now just so my letter E stays in the center of the light. I wanna make sure it's in the center of my field of view. I'm gonna place my eye to my eyepiece and I'm gonna move that course adjuster until my letter E comes into focus. I will know when that letter E comes into focus when I go, whoa, that is cool. If I don't say whoa, I do not see it. So when I see it, I see my letter E and it is very clear, but if I need to use my fine adjuster, I can do that. Um, so now it's, it's, it's very, very clear. So if I look at the first part of my paperwork, what I need to do is I need to move the slide to the right. So if I move my slide to the right while I'm looking in my eyepiece, and if I move it to the right, what happens to my letter E? And you need to record what happens. Then you need to move on and move the slide to the left, looking into the eyepiece. When you move it to the left, what happens to the letter E? Same goes for when I move the slide away from you and move the slide towards you. Remember, you have to be sure that you're looking through the eyepiece when you're trying to figure this out. Once you've figured out all of this in this chart, you will be able to figure out what three things a microscope does to an image. There are three things a microscope does to an image. So it doesn't look like it does when you're looking at it with the naked eye, but when you look at it through the microscope, it changes it quite a bit. So after you're done exploring that, you're going to explore the E on low power, medium power, and high power. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that my letter E is in the center of my field of view. So if I look at this, and I, this is what I'm seeing through the microscope, it should be right smack dab in the center. So once I'm there, I'm gonna look through the eyepiece and I'm gonna draw exactly what I see in this eyepiece right here. So if my E is hanging off the edge, well, it shouldn't be at this point, but wherever my letter E is, it should be in the center, I need to draw that. When I'm ready, after I've drawn that, I need to switch to medium power. So I leave everything like it is. I'm not gonna change anything. The only thing I'm going to move is the objective and I'm gonna move it to medium power. I'm gonna look through the eyepiece and I need to move my course adjuster just a bit. Oh, wow, that is cool. And you'll also probably notice some um, little water bubbles or air bubbles in there, um, but I'm gonna just make sure that it's centered in there. And now what I need to do is I need to draw exactly what I see. And I'm gonna give you a hint. It's not gonna look anything like this one. It's gonna look a lot different and you're going to see some differences between the low and the medium power. Once you're here, again, I'm ready to switch to high power. I'm not gonna move anything but my objective. Just moving my objective, clicking it into place, looking through. Am I allowed to use this course adjuster? No way. Only my fine adjuster. I can move it until I go, oh, whoa and then I need to draw exactly what I see. Then after I've done all of this, I am going to remove my, I'm gonna move my course adjuster, my stage all the way down. I'm gonna move back to low power, remove my stage clips, and carefully remove my slide. So now this microscope is ready for the next person. 
And then I need to decide what happens to this field of view as I move from a lower power to a higher power. And when I look at my field of view, what, what happens? And then not only what happens to my field of view, what happens to that image? What actually happens to that E every single time as I go from low to high? So you need to follow the directions on the sheet and you also need to answer all the questions on your paperwork investigating for the letter E. When you are finished for this, with this, you will sign up for small group.